Okay, seriously though, pound for pound, I don't think it gets any more beautiful than this porta potty. It's too bad they can't like, uh, you know, cut a hole out in the back so you can have like a little TV experience of the lake. Man, that'd be beautiful, eh? Two in the morning, thanks honey. Yep. Love you. Good morning. It's time for the sixth annual grandma's double, and it is going to be a double this year. It's that cam. Hey, go go find your own damn race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think usually the finish line is up over there. So I mean, if we can't find the finish line, we're going to have a tough time finding the start line. Okay. It's a little weird out here with all these people. I mean, it's 2.30 in the morning. What kind of nuts are out at 2.30 in the morning? Alright, here we go. Here we go, the official beginning. district time. Hey guys. Hey, what are you doing over here? <laughs> oh my gosh. Bunch of delighted runners to see their first aid station. Hey, there's cold Gatorade in the cooler there. There's another runner. First ever. I didn't know we had aid station. Did you know that there was a group of people meeting up or did you just did, randomly yeah, find us? I started and I was hoping to catch you guys. This is the guy that's been trolling us on Twitter. Talking to us about tax policy and immigration and yeah. eating people and keep it up T-Rex, you're vicious. Mr. Biffy, if you need any septic help, tank plumbing, Mr. Biffy, you know it. Free commercial. You're going the wrong direction. <laughs> You're going the wrong direction. <laughs> <laughs> Well, here, John, let's get a little cameo of you here. A cheese head and a Packer fan. Anyway. We're stopping this interview right now. I had a lot of medical problems. They came up with a treatment for my uh, lung disease a couple years ago. So it's like having a whole new life. Holy cow. So you can imagine what a thrill it is to be able to run, period, let alone hang with a bunch of people like you guys. All right, brother, good to have you here. Good job. Thanks for inviting me. Man, everybody's got a story. That's a pretty damn good one. All right, Ben, get everybody caught up. I don't think I've done any racing over the last two years, really. I've been really focused on playing with Legos. Well, if you had kids, the Legos thing wouldn't be weird. Are you running Leadville? I will see. I need. I definitely have unfinished business there. All right. What advice would you give to somebody who wants to get into ultra running? Uh, follow, follow my live feed on Twitter. Hey guys, thanks for being out here this morning. How you doing? Good yourself. Good. Yeah, you guys are crazy. What did you two do that you drew this duty? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for being out here. I can't believe we had eight people out here this time. It's crazy. These guys have done great. I am worn out, out of shape, hip hurts, and there's no place I'd rather be. We haven't had this nice of a morning forever. If it had been rainy and windy, I'm not sure any of these guys would have shown up. Zachary! How are you doing? Good. That was professionally done. Be on the way back. We'll see you soon. Yeah. All right. Thanks for getting up so early. Awesome. You're going the wrong way. What words of wisdom do you have for people that are going to run the Grandma's Double? It's a little dark at the beginning. The lake lights up. It's like a mirror. It's beautiful. What is that accent? Zulu. 
Kakulukun de bulum dal kenta kemuluko. Did you get that? I don't know. Uh uh. There's my man. How are you doing? Thanks for being up this early. Hey, hey it's nice to see yeah. you. Did you guys see some old guy in the yellow jersey come through here? Was he going the wrong way? He's right up there. Right up there? All right, cool. I got it. She's laughing because she's used to seeing me out here all by myself. She didn't think I had any friends. Hey. Sally, how are you? Thanks for being out here again. Yeah, good to see you guys. You're going the wrong way. <laughs> good morning. Hi. Thanks everybody, appreciate all your help. Good morning. Good morning. What kind of parents are you getting the kids up this early? <laughs> wow, that's like a work of art. What's your name? Barb. Barb, you're here every year, aren't you? I am. Thank you for helping out. Good job. Yeah. We're almost there. Good luck, wheelers. Good luck, guys. All right, Don. Dan. Don, Hi, my sorry. Name's Dan. I remember Rachel. <laughs> it's her bun. She's got a nice bun. It's been a blast. Yeah, you guys have been great. There's Rachel running with the Kenyans. So we ran all this way just to get to the start of a marathon. Here we go. Start line coming hot. Hey, nicely done, man. That was great. Is there a reason why I'm tired? I just got up a little early. Do not play this song. Makes people want to go backwards. Oh, yes. Wow. Here we go again. We'll see you guys at the finish line. Tell me I'm going the right way. You're going the right way, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's just a little ways down the road, around the corner, a couple hills. All right. There. Good deal. Thank you. <laughs> right when I heard her voice, I was like, I know who that is. Yeah. <laughs> this is Mary, and she just turned 65, and she's done 27 marathons. And what happened to you a couple years ago? I had a brain tumor. I had a seizure. Wow. I had a brain tumor that had to be removed. Well, if you're still doing this, they obviously didn't take enough out. We're lucky so. to have you out here, and that's inspiring. All right, keep it up. Good luck to you. Well, thank you very much. Okay. I nice. will. Am I going the right way? Yes, you are going the right way. <laughs> see you next year. And you're running the sun comes shining through. That's not doing much for me, I gotta tell you. Way to go, Jim, on 41. Way to go, buddy. All right, low five. It's hard to do low five. <laughs> oh. Just past mile 20. This is starting to suck a little. Well, no, it's not starting to suck. It started to suck a long time ago. I agree. That's Steve here. It sucks. T Rex. Allegedly. Lemon Drop Hill. Hey guys, uh, that hurt. See you guys in a little bit. Good job, buddy. Good job. 
Oh man, that was hard. So we've got some good news and some bad news. Dan and Rachel were awesome to run with. We logged a considerable amount of miles together during the second half of the uh, sixth annual Grandma's Double, my second finish of my career. It was hard, it was very, very challenging and painful. So first of all, I saw a bearded dude chugging a beer around mile 24, that was pretty sweet. And there were those weird, um, belly dancer girls that looked like they were from some one of those Star Wars movies. And one of them was giving me this look like, hey, what's up? And I don't know, it was weird. Oh, it got hot and we had to ice everything down which led to some pretty serious chafing. I'm wearing jeans, but I don't know how I'm gonna walk around the airport on the not so great side. Uh, my Airbnb, my Airbnb garage apartment was on the second level. Next time when I'm booking on Airbnb I, and I'm doing an ultra, I probably need to make sure that it's uh, handicap accessible. That's it for now. Um, I loved my experience. The group, oh, uh, one other thing. You might want to edit this part out. The group was great. We all determined that we loved it and we were blown away that there were eight people that were crazy enough to do it. Dan and Rachel actually had a, a fan call them out like, hey, you're doing the double. And they were pretty pretty excited about that. Um, so I don't know if you, you staged that or you had somebody plant it. I have no idea what country that guy's from. I, I would have preferred that he said, hey, this is the reason why you can't understand what I'm talking about. It's because I'm from Poland. It's because I'm from uh, Czechoslovakia. It's because I'm a secret spy in the KG, whatever, I don't care. Um, Eric made a couple comments about one of the runner's legs. Um, I was, I'm not, wasn't, not sure if that was really appropriate. Hello Eric, what's up, up dude? What do you have to say, Caroline? What's up, dude?